Dear students, welcome to the virtual Sunday school class. We are going to learn about a church father who lived and died serving the poor. He was His Grace Patros Mar Ostatios. Please turn to chapter 26 in Sunday school textbook. This church father had worked so hard for the upliftment of the lower caste that he is known as the Malankara Gandhi. Let's learn more about this social worker. Things like his birth, education in detail and his journey into priesthood. We will also learn about the Servants of the Cross Society. Besides these, let's also see the impact of this church father on Malankara Orthodox Church history. His Grace Patros Mar Ustatios was born on June 20, 1886 to Cheryan and Kunyu Mariyama of Mukanjiri House in Tripunidura. He was known by the name M.P. Peter but was also affectionately called Kochipilla. He went to Anglo Vernacular School in Tripunidura. Peter was a bright kid and passed his 10th class exams with rank. Since there were no 11th 12th classes at that time, M.P. Peter went on for higher studies. He did his first examination in Arts, F.A., from Maharaja's College in Ernakulam, followed by Bachelor's in Arts from St. Joseph's College in Trichy. While most of us stop learning after two degrees, Peter was just getting started. He acquired his licentiate in teaching from Trivandrum and started teaching in Narakal High School in his hometown, Tripunitra. He got an opportunity to teach in his alumni college Maharajas and went on to teach there. Kind-hearted and always looking out for the poor people, M.P. Peter found his calling in God and decided to learn the doctrines. He went to Sirampur for his bachelor's in theology. He got the opportunity to attend the first students conference at Tiruvalla Balika Madam School in January 1908. There was a lecture by Father Gomes in the conference who spoke about the Passion of Christ on the cross. He was so moved that he actually cried. Do you remember when was the last time you might have had tears in one of such classes? This incident was an eye-opener for the theology student and brought him closer to Christ. He was so disturbed that he left home and stayed in a lodge in Ernakulam, spending sleepless nights praying, reading the Holy Bible and meditating. He left Ernakulam without informing his parents and relatives and went and met Vatashiril Tirmeni, who, along with the first Catholicos, Paulos Mar Ivanios, ordained him as a deacon in 1916. He was a true disciple of Christ who literally left his father, mother, brothers and his ancestors and followed Christ. And he made it a point to attend the student conferences every year till the 58th conference in 1966. In the early 19th century, untouchability of lower castes was very common. You would have learned about it in your history textbooks. This era saw the Rana Gandhi, Nehruji and other leaders and patriots who fought for the freedom of Indians. At the same time in the land of Malankara, Deacon Peter began his dedicated service for equal rights of the lower castes. Being a high caste himself, he opposed the caste system and used to visit the huts of, untouch of untouchables, cared for them and taught them gospel. This was the time when people would not allow even the shadow of the so-called untouchables on themselves. And untouchability is not lost completely even today. People are cruelly treated because of their caste. What is your attitude to those who do menial jobs like housemaids, laborers, etc.? Remember, we should be kind to everyone as we all are made in the image of God. Seeing the social work of the deacon for the downtrodden, the king or divan of the Cochin kingdom at that time, Sati Vijaya Raghavachari, who promoted the movement for equal rights for the lower caste, appointed Deacon M.P. Peter as a special officer for the reformation and upliftment of the lower castes. No church leader was ever given such a title before him. At this time, even Gandhiji had not begun his movement for Harijans. One of the reformist movements in which Deacon Peter actively participated was Vaikim Satyagraha of 1924. 
In those days, according to the prevalent caste system in Kerala and the rest of India, low caste Hindus were not allowed to enter the temples. They were not allowed even to walk on the roads that, that lead to the temples. So, in 1924, a movement started in Travancore near the Shiva temple at Vaikyam, Kotem district. Gandhiji, Sri Narayan Guru and many others all over India came and supported the movement. This was Vaikyam Satyagraha. This was the first organized movement in Kerala. Did it end well? Did the movement achieve anything? Yes. On 23rd November 1925, all the gates of the temple were opened to Hindus except the Eastern Gate. And in 1928, three years later, backward caste got the right to walk on public roads leading to all temples in Travancore. While supporting this movement, the same year in the month of September of 1924, Deacon M. P. Patros started the Servants of the Cross Society with its headquarters in Karmal Daira, Kandanad. It was called Sliba Das Samuham or the Order of the Servants of the Holy Cross at that time. This monastic missionary movement was established with an aim to work for the upliftment of the Dalit Christians on the social, cultural and spiritual fronts. His evangelical work was unique. He empathized with people, especially with those living in meager conditions. He would travel in, pub in public vehicles or walk. His flock even collected money for a car for him, but he used the money for missionary work. Besides taking care of the social and the physical needs of the Dalits, Patros Tirmeni would tend to their spiritual development too by sharing the gospel with them. He shared Bible stories written in scrolls. Since most of the people lived in huts without electricity, he would carry wick lantern with them. He would sing hymns of worship using metal clappers while visiting the flocks. Be it heavy rains and cold, this servant of God would go from hut to hut and talk about Jesus Christ. His hard work, hard work made around 22,700 people join the Orthodox fold. But due to the prominent caste difference at that time, the church members did not accept the low caste families as fellow Christians. As a result, many of the new members relapsed to their old faith. But the society grew over time and today, the Servants of the Cross Society, founded by His Grace Patros Mar Ustatios, is functioning blissfully with His Grace Jakob Mar Irenaeus as the President and Very Reverend Shem Ramban as the secretary of the society with the office in Carmel Daira, Kandanad, Kerala. So much he achieved as a deacon. In the following year, that is 1926, our deacon got ordained as priest in the Chemp Church in Vaikim. Father Peter was the model of a monk leading a life of renunciation with the sole aim of saving lives living in ignorance. And so, in 1943, His Holiness Basilios Givergis II ordained him as Ramban. And a decade later, on 15th May 1953, he was consecrated as Metropolitan Patros Mar Ostatios by Basilios Givergis Tirumeni only. It is said that His Grace was initially hesitant to take up the sacred episcopy, fearing he would be unable to continue with the missionary work of the church. But his strong will led him to become the first metropolitan of the remote and underdeveloped diocese of Malabar. This was in July of 1953, two months after he became Tirumeni. At that time, Malabar had a lot of migrants from South Kerala. Starting their lives from scratch, they fought against nature and wild animals and depended entirely on agriculture for their livelihood. The villages had churches made of bamboo stalks covered with grass. The Good Shepherd walked to even remote villages in search of his migrant flock. His efforts bore fruit and he was able to establish churches in the areas which have Malabar, Bateri and Ramava diocese in the present day. The foundation laid by him was later built upon by his successor, His Holiness Catholicos Didymos I. At present, the Diocese of Malabar is being led by His Holiness the Catholicos with the headquarters in Mount Herman Aramana in Korikod. Shown here are some of the stills from the life of Metropolitan Patros Mar Ostatios. 
First we have the Tirumeni with the church members at Nilambur church in present day Malappuram district. In the below picture his grace is with Father KC Thomas who later became his grace Dr Thomas Mar Makarios with Rajkumari Amrit Kaur who was an Indian independence activist and politician. This shows that even in his old age Tirmeni fought for the society at large. Besides his significant contribution to the orthodox church history with the servants of the cross society and as the head of Malabar diocese he was also instrumental in shaping our Sunday holy eucharist liturgy the way we worship today at the time of metropolitan the sunday service was conducted in syriac language as many of you would know even today our church fathers learn theology in the syriac language in fact Even during our Sunday Qurbana you can hear the achan praying or singing in Syriac. Have you ever wondered why so much attachment to this foreign language? Actually Syriac language belongs to the family of Aramaic which was the language spoken by Jesus Christ. So Syriac language naturally helps understand the old scriptures better. And so it continues to be of significance. But having said that imagine our worship every Sunday in Syriac a language we wouldn't even understand don't you think it will be more helpful to be able to understand what you are praying for when you are praying for it our deacon peter thought so too and so he had translated the syrian liturgy into malayalam in his vacations later as metropolitan he suggested the translation be incorporated to the church worship after some opposition the church leaders allowed the malayalam liturgy in sunday qurbanas After 82 long years of dedication for the human kind and giving himself fully to the missionary work of God this child of God entered eternal abode on 2nd February 1968 his remains are laid in Carmel Daira Kandanad because of his revolutionary mission work and fervent belief in helping the less fortunate making a difference in their lives on physical and spiritual fronts He is famously known by the name Malankara Gandhi. As we conclude this lesson, let's have a glimpse of what we have learned so far. MP Peter was born in 1886 in Mukanjiri House. After finishing his teacher training course, moved to Sirampur for graduation in theology. In the first student conference meeting, got deeply inspired by Father Gomes and decided to dedicate himself for God's work. became a deacon in 1916 worked as a special officer for king of kochi to help the lower class in 1925 also participated in vaikyam satyagraha at the same time in the year 1924 he established servants of the cross society operating from kandanad around 22700 people converted to christianity but due to caste system prevalent at the time many relapsed back As a deacon he also translated the Syrian liturgy to Malayalam in 1920. Then he got ordained as a priest in 1926 and became a Ramban in 1943. Soon in 1953 he got consecrated as a metropolitan by name Patros Mar Ustatios. He was appointed as the head of the underdeveloped diocese of Malabar after 2 months and helped develop the present day Malabar Batheri and Brahmavar diocese. In 1968 entered eternal abode and is laid to rest at Carmel Daira Kandanad. With this we come to the end of this chapter. Please go through your textbook and try to answer all the questions. May the Almighty enable us to follow the example of Patros Dirmeni and inspire in us the spirit of a missionary. Let us also keep in our prayers the efforts and struggles of servants of the cross community and all the fellow Christian families in the underdeveloped villages all over the world. Amen.